So I just wanted to tell you a little bit about a tool that I use to give my students feedback. Um, and it's, it's helped me to really get to know my students better, or to have them get to know what it is that I am looking for in their assignments beyond the rubric that I have for them, um, and as well as sample assignments. So um, I've used it with large classes that are face-to-face, -face, small classes that are face-to-face, -face, as well as when I'm teaching a fully online class. Um, so for me, it's really important that um, I develop a connection with my students. I get to know them and um, most of my feedback used to usually be in writing. And the comments that I would get from my students is that, you know, when I meet with them, when they have questions about their assignments and the feedback I've given them, when I meet with them and talk to them, they're like, oh, that's what you meant by this. Um, you know, when it's written down, it seems so cold or it seems like you're angry at us. But actually when you say those same words, when you're looking at me and through your tone of voice, it makes sense and now I know that you're not mad at me. So obviously I need to improve how I'm writing my own feedback. Um, but one tool that helps me to kind of, you know, make sure that my students have a clear idea of the feedback, but also that I'm trying to support their learning and to help them, and that I, I care about them, and whether it's small successes or big successes, um, and just to help them improve. So the tool that I use is something called Screencast-O-Matic, which you can get free online, um, and I will make a little video um, of the feedback that I have for them. So what I do first is I have my rubric um, as well as their assignment. Um, and it ha helps me first to you know go through the assignment first, do the rubric and identify like on the written paper or online, you know what are the areas to improve, um, you know what, what they did well. But rather than writing all my comments um, in a written format and giving it to them, I do screencast-o-matic. And that way I can actually start from the beginning of the assignment and walk them through it and then, you know, and, and express um, certain things that I might not take the time to do in writing. So for example, giving them additional examples or ways of saying that. Sometimes it takes too long in writing um, to do that, especially when we have a lot of papers to mark. So it can be a quicker way just to record your voice and then show them on the paper by highlighting or writing in the comment box. Okay, so now I'm just going to sh quickly show you how to use Screencast-O-Matic. Um, it gives me the option of doing the webcam, so I'm just doing that. Um, usually I don't do that when I give students feedback. Um, I usually just give the audio feedback. So uh, when you set up the recording, it will, a it will open up a box that will ask you if you want to use the webcam or not, so you can disable that function. Just make sure that you've got the audio going. Um, also, I like to use headphones because the sound quality is better than if you're just doing it, um, you know, straight through the computer audio. So this screen will open up. Again, Screencast-O-Matic is free. Um, and you can just hit start record and then it will do a little countdown for you. Three, two, one, go. And then you start. You also have the option of pausing it. Um, you have the option of deleting it. You have the option of pausing it, recording a bit more. And then if you don't like that chunk, you can go back to where you last paused. So um, that's a great feature. So now I'm going to go to the student's assignment, which I have on the screen. So I'm going to minimize this and show you what I have. So right now I have the, the recording box open to show my whole screen. So, you know, you can give yourself a smaller window as well. So I've got the students two assignments, or sorry, the assignment and the rubric open. And I also have the paper copies here. So what I did was I marked all of this first um, and all my feedback is already done. And I have kind of the main points that I want to talk to the student about. Um, and then after this video, I would give them the video, either give them the link or I could embed it for them um, in Blackboard. I could give it to them in Dropbox, for example, depending on how big the file is. I could share it with them in a cloud-based um, way. So, um, okay, so, so now that I've got, you know, all my markings done, I'm going to live narrate for the student kind of the main areas that I want to talk to them about. So I'm going to make this bigger. The one thing is that I don't open up the document that I've already marked. 
um, I open up just a blank one so that I can walk through it with the student as though we're sitting side by side in the office. Um, so again, this is great when you have large classes, um, when you're teaching online, you know, you don't have time to meet all 50 of your students or you don't have time to do Skype um, office hours with that, with everyone. So again, you could just do it through Screencast-O-Matic so, or some other screen program. Um, so here I am walking through it and I will live narrate the feedback that I have for the student. So I'm going to show you how to do that and, um, or I'll give you an example of my feedback for the student uh, next. Hi Kate, it's Patricia here. Um, I'm just going to give you some feedback on your assignment. So I will be returning you the fully marked assignment along with the rubric. Um, and there's some comments on there, but I'm also using this video to give you feedback and kind of walk you through the assignment as I marked it. So um, I'm just going to go down here and begin with your introduction. So I, um, this was an excellent introduction. Um, it was very clear and you are basically taking the reader on the journey. I thought you did an excellent job. Using specific language like this in the paper I will, you know, clearly guides the reader about what's going to be happening in the paper. Um, so you're, you know, this is what I'm gonna do, this is what's in the paper, and this is how I'm gonna finish, which again, you've done a great job of telling me what you're gonna do at the end. So again, excellent introduction. Then you've got the body of the paper. So you've got your three theories that you've talked about. Um, and again, in the rubric, it talks about that um, you have to give an overview of the theory. So you've done that really well. Um, you've got your three theories here. Um, one of the thing here is that you've done a great job of citing your sources um, according to APA style. So when I go down to your reference list, um, I hope you don't get, get dizzy. I'm going to scroll through here quickly, but I'm going down to your reference page and I can see here that you've got a number of references from a variety of sources. So you've got, you know, you've retrieved them online. You've got the dates, you've got the titles, um, you've got a book here as well that you've used. So um, you've got a good variety um, and you're following APA format correctly. So well done there. Excellent job overall. Um, it's a good kind of start to finish paper. Just a couple of suggestions to improve. But overall, you know, excellent, excellent paper. So I will be sending you this little video with kind of the things that I've highlighted in this Word document. I've only highlighted a few things, but I'll send it to you anyway. And I will also be giving you the paper copy with a few more comments, but you know, I don't honestly have a ton because this is pretty amazing. Okay, so if you have questions, send me an email. Um, but otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in class next week.